a Chicago tradition finds its common links to an Afghan tradition. These kids fly kites in Chicago's Lincoln Park, right before the future of Afghanistan is discussed not far from here at the NATO summit. We are uh, making people aware of the Afghan tradition of kite flying, underlining the fact that life is getting back to normal in Afghanistan and that what we're doing with our ISAF operation, we're um, laying the groundwork for people to be able to resume normal lives, to get back to their traditions and to do, you know, what everybody in the world loves to do and have a lot of fun. To highlight the Afghan tradition of kite flying during this year's Chicago Kids and Kites Festival, NATO provided 5,000 kite kits for children, as well as flags and information about NATO countries to inspire young Chicagoans as they decorate these kites. A good idea, according to the mayor of the Windy City. First of all, it's great to have everybody uh, NATO here. It's the largest NATO uh, conference ever in the history of NATO, 60 countries all here. And I don't think there's anything better than engaging the people of the city of Chicago with the kite fair given that everything's being handled around Evans, uh, Afghanistan and the kite flying, made famous by the Kite Runner book, is a great way to engage children in learning about different cultures and all the communities that come together. During the Taliban regime, kite flying was banned. But now it is a popular pastime again in Afghanistan. I did know that. I actually read the book the Kite Runner a few years ago, so I did know Afghanistan was a big flight kind country. I did, I did actually know that, yeah. And here in Chicago, they agree that it is real fun. So far it's great. We love all the kites in the sky. We're making our own. Besides flying kites, taking part in a workshop on Afghan fighter kites or just enjoying a wonderful family day in the sun, most people appreciated the special link to Afghanistan. I hope that the symbolism that is born here carries through to Afghanistan for the people of Afghanistan and also for our uh, continued relations with them down the road. And I know things are getting kind of rough over there, but I know NATO and the American soldiers are doing the best that they can. And hopefully, you know, we'll be out of there in, uh, you know, 2014 when the plan is. I'm Carsten Reniers, reporting for the NATO Channel from Chicago.